Hey there, welcome to Ohio Wild Outdoors. Today we're at Deer Creek. Came down to check out some fishing spots for the spring. Um, gonna walk around, get a little bit of video, and uh, see what we see. So here we are, this is the very top end of Deer Creek where the creek actually makes its way down into the reservoir. Um, I think this is going to be one of the spots I hit with my kayak uh, once the ice breaks up and uh, we start getting this, the, the runoff for the spring. So I think this will be a good spot. Alright, here's another look at the creek at the top of the reservoir. Uh, walking down here, I scared the geese and the swans away, but there it is. There's the reservoir uh, And I expect that there will be a quite quite a bit of fish up in here uh, once the melt starts to happen and the water starts to warm up so Definitely gonna be back here in a couple of weeks to uh, try my luck There we go as you can see the water right now is crystal clear It's uh, running pretty fast I'd kind of like to walk out in there a little bit, but the ice at the edges makes that hard because it's hard to tell if I break through how deep it is right where I'm standing. All right, back in the truck. It's, uh, I've been here for about an hour. It's uh, pretty cold out. I don't know, 15, 20 degrees, something like that. I don't know what that translates to for Celsius. Probably something below zero. Uh, the water here is crystal clear moving pretty fast but it is ice cold found some fishing lures and stuff in the water which is a good sign it means this is a place that people fish quite a bit um, but just reaching into the water to get them it's like uh cooler water like what you would have your uh, drinks in in the summertime it's it's cold but anyway uh we're going to package up and move on to the next spot i picked a couple of different spots here to check out uh all along this northern part of the creek that leads into the reservoir so we're gonna go on to the next spot and see what we get I just wanted to stop here real quick I'm about halfway down this road to my next fishing spot and I just wanted to show what this place looks like in the in the wintertime in the snow you know in the summertime it's usually just all brown and stuff you know all these weeds but and there's where I've been and there's where I'm going so we're at the next spot that I wanted to check out the water here is pretty shallow uh, I ran into a guy not physically I, I he was passing and I stopped him uh, he said he was just here fishing um, not sure what he was fishing for didn't catch his name either but he said he wasn't having any luck water was too cold he said um, but this looks like it would be a great spot later on in the spring a good place to get into the water and just wade and uh, cast and wade so definitely uh, definitely looks like a good place to be All right, I made it. I'm on the main lake, uh, Deer Creek. Uh, right now where I'm at, the water should actually be about five feet deep, but you know, it's the winter pool depth, so it let the water down quite a bit. But man, look at this view. Check that out. So we got, we got one creek that comes down. There's a creek bed there. There's another creek bed that goes back up into there. And then they come together and it's the main creek bed that goes out to the main lake. And like I say, this should be normally about five feet deep, um, but it's not right now. So uh, this stuff's pretty hard to walk in. The snow here is about almost knee deep and it's got an inch thick crust or so. And it makes the trooping kind of hard. So I think I'm going to wrap that up here. 
enjoy the uh the asmr video with the creek and uh thanks for watching all right quick interruption from the editing floor thought it might be fun to to share a map that kind of shows uh deer creek from a satellite perspective kind of the layout of the lake itself and some of the uh some of the important locations here um, if we zoom in a little bit we see the map highlights the boundaries of the park it shows some of the trails there's hiking trails and bridle trails here uh, at deer creek if we zoom in a little closer uh, you can see that the lake is really it's two it's two valleys that come together around this peninsula and then the dam itself is here um, according to according to the water water depth charts for the lake <clears throat> right in front of the dam it's about 30 feet deep um, up here in this part of the lake where i was at uh, in the satellite image you can see that it's all filled in with water this is obviously for some time in the summer um, I had actually walked out to the middle somewhere out here. Um, this tree right here is where that hawk's nest is that you can see kind of in the background. Um, you can see in the satellite image some of the dead trees and stuff sticking up out of the water. <clears throat> uh, the two creek channels that I had mentioned, one goes off into the woods back here someplace. The other uh, goes back up into the woods here uh, down here at the bottom of this driveway area this is where I took the first first shot that kind of shows the whole you know the whole flat plain you know in the picture it's all white snow just you know like I said because I let the water down for winter time to account for the melt over here on the other side of the peninsula is where I had started um, the first the first bit of video with the with the geese and the swans was here in this area and <clears throat> i had pointed the camera south looking down towards the main lake you can see this bit of land sticking out in the video not sure what that actually is i don't know if there was a bridge here at one point or what but um anyway <clears throat> from this point um because i had been parked right up here this was all all fairly deep snow jumped back in the truck and followed the road um, up up to this here intersection uh, this is where I flagged down the guy that I saw that, that I talked to briefly uh, this was all I mean you saw in the video <clears throat> this is all deep snow you know the roads in some spots wasn't bad and in other places down here closer to these trees it had drifted in pretty bad um, but right here right before the trees is where I had actually stopped and I did the little video bit just showing kind of what this area looks like you know this picture is kind of kind of incredible to me because I've never seen this much green out in these fields um, it's usually just all brown and dead looking even in the summer so it's kind of incredible to see that in this picture but as you saw it's all covered in snow now the guy that i talked to uh, he had said about having walked over to here uh, and was trying to do some fishing i don't know where he was trying to do fishing at uh, because when i walked over here this whole little pocket was iced over and it was thick enough uh, this this waypoint I had walked out on the ice out to here and marked this spot just so I wouldn't forget where it was at um, but the video that you'll see at the end uh, of the you know just of the of the water going over the rocks and, and that stuff that's from right here and from what I saw I'm kind of expecting that it would be fairly realistic to think that I could park here and get in the water and then wade all the way down the creek you know all the way down and, you know as far back as I'm willing to walk uh, by the road basically 
but wade down through here and cast and walk and then you know get out of the water and walk back to the truck or whatever but I don't feel like that's an unrealistic thought the water in both spots was pretty shallow um, now this section is kind of where I was thinking about <clears throat> with my kayak um, because this section should be should be deeper but I kind of expected it would be like like the other side over here where the water depth is way down right now um, so maybe there maybe that's not as realistic as I think I don't know I know in years past I've been here when the water depth was way down and I walked out from this point and I walked out probably about out to there maybe farther for the same reason because the water depth is you know every bit of 10 feet more shallow than what it is in the summertime and this peninsula goes out quite a long ways uh, there was a buoy <clears throat> there was a buoy that was laying in the snow that marked the water depth and I don't I don't honestly remember what the number was if it was 10 feet or if it was 20 feet or what I don't remember but you know where I was at it was laying on the snow and the water was another two or three feet even lower than that so they uh, they let the water down here quite a bit in the winter time just so that it doesn't flood when spring melt hits and all the snow melts and the creeks start draining into into the reservoir so anyway I thought this might be kind of fun to share to uh, to show kind of what we're looking at where we were at and uh, you know give an idea there's you know there's other stuff here at Deer Creek other than just fishing uh, but fishing is what we were investigating today uh, if you're interested you can always go to the Ohio Department of Natural Resources website it's back up um, they have more information about the park locations where you can hunt where the shooting range is they have the trail maps on their website they have information about you know the campsites and the golf course and the conference center and all that kind of stuff so anyway I just thought I would share uh, and enjoy uh, hopefully you enjoy that you know it's such a beautiful spot here uh, I think what I'll do is get just a little bit of video without me yakking to close the video out here uh, from our tr little adventure here at Deer Creek thanks for watching Ohio Wild Outdoors subscribe to the channel check out the website uh, I got the new logo up on the website, and uh, there's a link to the store if you're interested in a shirt or something. If not, you know, no big deal, but uh, would appreciate it. Thank you.